Hello, today we are going to show you how to run the Paraline communication interface on the TMDS DC3359 data concentrator EVM. The kit includes one smart data concentrator evaluation module and one PLC SOM. To download the latest version of the PLC packages, go to ti.com slash PLC. Click on the products tab and choose the appropriate packages. After downloading, run and install the packages. Once installed, you will find relevant documentation, software, and tools in this folder. Before starting, we need to set up the EVM. Plug in the PLC SOM onto the DC EVM. Connect the power cable wires to the power terminal connector here. Connect a serial cable from the EVM's bottom RS-232 port to your computer that is running a terminal program. Attach the included 12 volt power supply to the power connector and switch on the EVM. Looking at the terminal, you should see the EVM booting Linux. Once the EVM has fully booted, type root as a username and log in. Now that the board is running, we will run a script that will help us flash the service node, flash the PLC SOM, and start the data concentrator stack. The script will first ask which PLC standard you will like to select, either Prime or G3. All of the following steps work for both options, but for this demonstration, we'll select Prime. Then it will show us three options. Let's start with the option to flash the service node. The service node will act as our endpoint or meter for the Prime network. Following the prompt, we need to make sure that the hardware is set up correctly. Make sure that jumper 6 and 7 are on pin 1 and 2. Jumper 16 through 19 are on pin 2 and 3. Isolate the PLC kit from any PLC activity by disconnecting the power cable. Connect a serial cable from the EVM's top RS-232 port to the PLC kit's SCIA port. Attach the PLC kit's 15 volt external power supply and turn on the kit. Now let's start flashing the PLC kit. Input a unique identifier for the PLC kit and begin flashing. If the kit is not flashing, check the hardware connection, power cycle the PLC kit, or manually flash the hex image using code scan. Once the kit has been flashed, the script will then configure the service node to operate in embedded app EMU mode. Disconnect the serial cable and power cycle the kit for the changes to take effect and repeat the same steps for any additional kits. Remember, each PLC kit must have a unique identifier. Now let's flash the PLC SOM. The PLC SOM is the modem for our data concentrator. By selecting the option to flash the data concentrator, it will automatically begin flashing the PLC SOM with the correct binary. No additional input is needed. Once this is done, we can now run our data concentrator. First, connect each PLC kit and the data concentrator to the power line. Please be sure that the devices are connected directly to the same power line face. Select the option to start the data concentrator. The data concentrator will initialize the modem, start the network by sending out beacons, and wait for nodes to join. After a minute, the first service node joins the network. To see the node list, select the option to run the management application. Type git node info and you will see the node listed with the same unique identifier. Now power on the second node. Wait for another minute and type git node info. You'll see the second node in your node list. You also see event messages that notify when a specific event occurred in the data concentrator. There's also more Prime DC features and functionalities available. For more information, please see the documentation folder of the package. The same steps can be applied to run the G3 data concentrator. Restart the script and select the G3 standard. Make sure you reflash the service node and PLC SOM, then start the G3 data concentrator. I hope this video was able to give you an efficient and easy method on running the PLC data concentrator. For more details, visit our website at ti.com smartgrid. Thank you.